Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. This is a recently aired series on <clears throat> FX and it's called Atlanta. And of course it's very intriguing <clears throat> coming from a person of my background <laughs> because people are really surprised when I tell them I enjoy rap. I, well, my main um, <clears throat> genre of music is classical, of course. Classically trained, all that, but <clears throat> I have a very broad range of what I enjoy. But I, I mostly like the old school rap. I, I don't like any of this new stuff. Some of the new stuff is okay, but the old school stuff is where it's at. And they talk about that from the 90s. Yeah, the 90s, I think, were the, the best era, the defining era, the era in which rap became rap, <clears throat> when it became popular. So I remember when MC Hammer came out, and I loved MC Hammer. MC Hammer and uh, <clears throat> Vanilla Ice. Well, only, Vanilla Ice only had one, you know, it was just a one-hit wonder. And with uh, MC Hammer, he was also a one-hit wonder, but <laughs> it made him millions and millions of dollars, but... Then um, Fresh Prince came out, uh, Will Smith, and Will actually made it really big. And then we hear of rappers like M and M Eminem and <clears throat> Ice-T and uh, Ice Cube, uh, Snoop Dogg, Tupac, 50 Cent. I even like Drake. I know a lot of people say, what do you like Drake for? Drake is actually awesome. Drake is cool. Um... <clears throat> I like some of the stuff that he does. It, he's he seems like a really neat person, really spiffy. Uh, anyway, the the uh, series the series premiere. There are two episodes here. Um, uh, second episode was called "Streets on Lockdown." Uh, I forget what the first episode was called, but it's a uh, Really, I think it has a lot of potential. Because you have this young man. <clears throat> he doesn't really make that much money. He's pretty much homeless. His parents won't accept him. And they don't really approve of what <laughs> what he does for a living. He's, he's trying to make it in Atlanta, Georgia, in the rap scene. When rap is dead. Even his friends are, are telling him rap is D-E-D -E -D dead. And <laughs> I thought, I thought the uh, conversation was really humorous of, I thought black people really do talk to each other like that. Holy crap. I mean, if I came up to a, a black person and called them the N-word, I would get myself knocked in the next Thursday. I'm sorry, but yeah. White people, you can't do that. That's just not appropriate. But I wouldn't do it anyway because I just, personally, I hate that word. And <laughs> I know they use it as kind of an affectionate uh, banter between each other. But I do. For me, I'm like, <laughs> no. But it's um it's an excellent series and he uh he wants to rise up in the world but he's in a very bad way and bad side of town and his uh cousin is uh he came up with a single a hit single called paper boy paper boy i've actually i like the the paper boy um rap it was really you know off the chain uh <laughs> paper boy was you know cool uh, it's, it's probably about more than just paper, if you know what I mean. But yeah, a lot of those a lot of those raps are about drugs and sex and you know um, pimps and all that. But <clears throat> it's a lifestyle. I mean, that's they, they they rap about what they know. Uh, but he makes it big, and um, he shoots somebody. <laughs> In the second episode, there are these kids and they're playing, and, and one of them is pretending to be Paperboy. And his mother sees him. It's actually not, well, yeah, it's her son and their nieces and nephews or, that belong to somebody else in the neighborhood. And she says, she said to them, Oh, no, we don't do that. You know, put that gun away. It, it's like if I were. <coughs> it's actually, she wasn't. His mother, I think I, that's I, that's why I understand correctly. But as she sees it's it's a paper boy, and <laughs> she gets kind of friendly with him. I'm like, oh my god. But 
Yeah, it's interesting. It's like she does a complete 180 when she realizes he's famous, and then there's this one guy at the very end. It's it's really funny. There's a guy in a Batman mask that comes up to his door. It's like, are you are you paper boy? It's like, and <laughs> one of his friends is like, dude, you're too hot. <laughs> but <coughs> it's a good series. I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm interested in where they're going to take it, and uh, I'm intrigued about you know the culture because I don't. I come from a, a very different neighborhood. I'm, it's a small town where I grew up, and uh, like I said, classically educated, classically entertained, classic, classic uh, music is more my expertise. Uh, same thing with jazz and um, rock and roll, classic rock. I liked a lot of the the music from the '70s, and I liked the golden oldies. Of, yeah, it's very. Um, diverse but I got into R&B when I was young and I really enjoyed it but it's about all I had to say about Atlanta and I think it's gonna do a very good job <clears throat> it's got a lot of really good characters I'm already starting to enjoy and the humor in it I really <laughs> yeah I liked uh, Earl and uh, he's <laughs> he's got I don't know if it's his daughter, or it, it might be his daughter, but his um, significant other is with him, and she's going out with another guy, and he's lifted her up, and she said, oh, no, this is a great environment for you to be raised in. <laughs> no sarcastic remark, but it, it was just so funny. I really enjoyed it. That's all I had to say about Helena. Till next time, live long prosper. Ciao, Tutti.